if you have a home network or a small business network, or maybe even an enterprise network, well, there's a good chance that network has lots of wired connections. And there's a good chance that you'll experience a network failure at some point. And many network failures occur at the physical level, and we're talking ethernet and fiber cables. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to test networking cables, both ethernet and fiber. So how do we test networking cables? Well, we're gonna need a network cable tester, but there are a ton of these testers on the market, and some are quite expensive with a lot of features, and some are quite cheap with minimal features. We need a cable tester that's somewhere in the middle, not too expensive, not too cheap, but lots of features. Well, good news, we found a cable tester that's quite affordable that tests ethernet, fiber, and PoE connections, and has a full color LED display with nine options. This is the NF8508 optical wire meter tracer from a company called Noyafa. I think it's how you pronounce it. This tester is priced at $119, so we're gonna test this tester and see how it performs. Let's open the box and see what's inside. So it looks like the cable tester is contained within this blue carrying case. And I like the color and the size. Most carrying cases seem to be black or charcoal gray. And the carrying case feels good and it's lightweight. And inside the carrying case contains the transmitter and receiver and all the extra accoutrements. And it comes with a detailed user manual that comes in several different languages, including French and Spanish. And this is the transmitter, which is designed in this black and blue color. And it looks pretty cool. And the transmitter even contains hand grips on the sides, which should help you from dropping it. And the transmitter is pretty lightweight. So we'll press the power button to turn on the transmitter. And this cable tester has nine features. We have continuity, scanner, flash, length, PoE, QC test, OPM, optical power meter, VFL, visual fault locator, and settings. And below the LED screen, we have five buttons. We have the power button, the up and down button, the OK button, and the back button. On the right side of the transmitter, there are two RJ45 ports. One port is for cable length and flash, and the other one is for QC and continuity. At the top of the tester is one RJ45 port for scanning. And we also have two fiber optic ports, one for VFL and one for OPM. And it's pretty convenient that the fiber covers are connected with a chain, so you won't lose them. The transmitter does feel lightweight and durable and pretty comfortable. And this is the receiver, which is exactly the same color as the transmitter. And it also includes the finger grips for your hands. And once again, this feels lightweight and durable and pretty comfortable. And it weighs quite a bit less than the transmitter. And there are four buttons on the front. The power button, flashlight button, NCV, and scan. And above the buttons is a dial, which allows you to adjust the sensitivity of the scanner. And this flashlight is very convenient for dark areas, like attics, crawl spaces, server rooms, and network panels. At the bottom of the transmitter is a Type-C port for charging, which means no batteries. At the bottom of the scanner is the RJ45 port. And the side of the scanner has a Type-C connection for charging. And the top of the scanner contains the wand for both digital and analog scanning. And we're gonna test both of the modes later in the video. And this cable tester kit also includes the USB to Type-C charging cable. It also includes earphones, which you can plug into the scanner so if you're in a loud area like a server room, you can still hear the scanner going off. And this kit also includes an RJ45 adapter cable and an RJ11 adapter line cable and an alligator clip adapter. So this is everything you get with the NF8508. And it does seem to be a good value for $119. But first, we're gonna test all the modes to make sure everything works correctly. And we're gonna test both ethernet and fiber cables. All right, the first test is the continuity test. This test checks for continuity, shorts, and miss wires. And if you make your own patch cables, then this test is a must. In our first test, everything looks good. No issues. All the numbers line up. However, our second test has an issue. As you can see right here. All right, now we're gonna do a scan test, and we're gonna start with digital. We're gonna use the RJ45 adapter cable to plug into our keystone in the wall. And then we're gonna to go to our network panel and we're gonna use our scanner to find that cable. And success, we found our cable. And now we'll switch the scanner to analog. And then we'll go back to the network panel and then scan for the cable. 
And success, we found the cable. And one thing to note, I had to make an adjustment on the dial for the analog sensitivity. Where your cables are located, like a network panel or server room, you may have to adjust the dial. All right, the next test is the port flash test. So plug an ethernet cable into the RJ45 port on the tester and plug the other end of the ethernet cable into the switch. Then start the test. And the port light should flash on the switch. And you can see the light is flashing. The next test is the cable length test. And we're gonna set our unit of measurement to feet. But you could do meters or yards as well. And test number one is 58.8 feet. And as you can see, it has the length of each pair of wires. One strange thing you're gonna notice is they have foot instead of feet. This product is made in China, so sometimes you see grammatical errors. No big deal. And we're gonna test one more cable length for the heck of it. And this cable is 12.7 foot, I mean feet. All right, the next test we have is the PoE test. So plug a cable into your PoE port on your switch and perform the test. And this test will show you which wires on the cable are running the power. And you can see here, wire three and six are running power. All right, the next test is a QC test. Plug an ethernet cable into the side of the tester and hit OK. In our first test, everything is good. And our second test is fail on the third wire. All right, our next test is the OPM test, which stands for optical power meter. We'll plug our fiber cable into the top and then hit OK. OK, our last test is the VFL test, which stands for visual fault locator. We'll plug our fiber cable into that port and start the test. Now let's take a look at the settings. The first setting is backlight, and we can adjust three different levels. The second setting is backlight time. The third setting is auto off. There's also a restore settings and a calibration setting. And the last one tells you about the product. So I use this cable tester for about a week now, testing both ethernet and fiber cables. And the tester performed well. My only minor issue with the tester was the scanning modes. Occasionally, I would get a false positive. And for my situation, I found the analog mode to be better than the digital mode. I'm not sure why, but analog seemed to work better. But besides that small issue, this tester worked very well. So guys and gals, if you need a network cable tester, then the NF8508 is a great choice. It's not too expensive and has tons of features. And most importantly, it tests ethernet fiber, and PoE connections and does it well. And we'll have an awesome 7% discount code at the bottom. Just use the code at checkout. And guys and gals, if you want to learn how to build a home network, check out the video right here. And if you want to see the best Wi-Fi 7 gaming router on the market, check out the video right here. And with that, guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon. And I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace. Yeah.